What is up, my bro varies? Welcome back to Playcrastination Population 174. Today, we are continuing our journey through the beautiful little region here in Pokemon Sun, and we're going to be attacked by a Crabrawler as we start this episode off, which is totally fine. If you guys are enjoying this series, by the ways, then please consider so showing some support down below in the form of liking, subscribing if you haven't already, commenting, you can always answer that wonderful comment quest of the comment quest. Comment quest of the day, which I'm forgetting what it is, but it is up there for sure for you guys. So you can always answer that as well as we take, really? Th really though? It's, it's, I guess we didn't really destroy it, so it still is there. So I guess we're gonna have to take out this Cabral if we want these berries. It seems like a fair trade-off to me though. Mm. It's a brand new day, the sun is up, just kidding, it's cloudy as heck and not very shiny outside. It's also flipping cold, like, let me get some temps for you guys here. Let's get some temps going. It is currently 12.14 in the PM, and we got a nice temp of... Do I not have weather on my phone? Ooh, 36 degrees Fahrenheit! It's real nice. It's real nice outside. We had a little bit of snow last night, which actually has me pretty titillated, if I have to say so myself. I love snow more than, like, pretty much anything in the entire world. And uh, and so it was nice seeing a little bit yesterday. It's uh, of course hasn't been cold enough to like stick or anything, and it wasn't any like sizable accumulation. But you know what? You got to be happy with it nonetheless. You take the little things when you can. And we just got 97 berries from this tree. Did we check this grass yet to see what's in it? I think we did. I came back to heal from that meadow, but we're pretty much right outside the meadow, if you recall. It's just polypers. I remember now. It was polypers and. Uh, something else that I think maybe we caught I can't remember good news guys found out Sterling's little shaking thing is just the result of me like petting him enough see he's thinking about pokey beans uh, it's kind of like he's going through pokey bean withdrawal uh, but it's actually there's no negative consequence in fact he actually gains experience faster uh, than usual while under these uh, effects which is kind of cool it's kind of cool uh, so you can actually like okay well apparently we can't go down there but you can actually uh, use that strategy. Don't tell me I have to refight. No, I was gonna say we already we already beat this lady. Can I take the nectar from up here? Of course we cannot, but I still want the red nectar. And uh, if we want to get to the red nectar, you have to play with the red flowers, meaning Cottony, who is green as all heck, looking like uh, what's that Collywobble from uh, looking like Collywobble from Banjo Kazooie. I really need to bring Banjo Kazooie to the channel. I'm so excited to play it eventually. I know I was like. Oh, well, I'm gonna play it eventually. I just want to play Conqueror's Bad Fur Day first. And then I did like four episodes of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day and never beat it. And then I just heard a Pokemon. But I promise you guys that eventually this lady that's sniffing the air is uh, is gonna bring Banjo to me. Or Corio and others come, lured by Flower Nectar. I promise you will be on the channel eventually. Um, I'm trying to think of some way to like maybe spice it up a bit, maybe make it a bit more of an interesting series, but I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that yet. Torkoal is gonna come in. Learned something super sad and morbid about Torkoal the other day. It's like, you know the whole, like, uh, uh, the, if the flame on Charmander's, oh god, drought's coming in. You know the whole, like, if the flame on Charmander's body goes out, it's gonna die? Well, Torkoal pretty much has the exact same thing, uh, that if the, like, the flame within its belly goes out, it just dies. Which is really sad. We're gonna go into a little Mac Crab and Crab Hammer this thing. But, uh, it's crazy that there's Pokemon, so, like, freaking keep your Torkoal away from water. If he falls into your bathtub, Dunzo, Dunzo, Funzo. Speaking of bathtubs, I don't have one at this apartment. Well, it is, but it's, like, a color you wouldn't really want to see. It's, like, imagine, like, a marbled fudge brownie with, like, yeah, it just looks like that. It's pretty gross. We're going to go ahead and crab hammer this thing. I guess we could have... guess we shouldn't have done Z rock move because he would have predicted that but now that he used his protect i'm gonna pretend he's not gonna use it again and we're gonna go for the continental crush and start the episode oh he gets the double protect off just kidding he gets the double protect off wait this is oh wait i forgot z moves go through protect uh they don't do the full damage but they do break it and do at least some damage which is nice if you think a pokemon's gonna protect you can just use that z uh, the Z move against it and you'll be fine. So if you got like, uh, you have like a Blaziken or a Sharpedo that's wanted to get that speed boost on you and you know he's going to protect first turn, use your Z move and boom, he can't get the speed boost. Oh, it didn't do very much though. 
Uh, yeah, it just says it couldn't fully protect itself. So I think it does like a diminished form of damage, but I'm not sure. That sun is still super bright. You go for three protects in a row, but you don't hit it. But then you dodge, good golly gracious grief. Oh my general grievous goodness gravy. There's not, that's all the G words in the entire English language, guys. I, I just went through them all. Oh, except for I said guys, which is another one. Ignore that. Uh, I made that up. Little Mad Crab's gonna finally get off a Crab Hammer. And one more should take it out. Just kidding, this man keeps cursing. He is cursing at me. He is saying some words that are not appropriate for television. But it raises his defense, which means it's gonna take two more Crab Hammers to take him out. Or just one, because we get a critical hit and critical hit. Don't care about your defense raises. It don't care about them even a little bit. Pookie's gonna go to level 22. Uh, and who, anything else? Nope. Office Michelle Worker. What? Office Worker Michelle's gonna send in Sea King. Uh, yeah, let's give Pookie a chance. Pookie's a little, little low. 22. But this is a chance for her to show, show me uh, that she means business. So let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see if we can, uh, let's just survive one thing from the Sea King and then we'll Volt Switch out. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough to live. Hmm. Good thing I'm in, like, I'm just fully prepped for this Nuzlocke, guys. I'm just, I'm just so ready to, to never lose anything in the Nuzlocke. I'm really worried about the Nuzlocke. I don't think it's gonna go well. We'll see, though. I forgot we have Leaf Blade now on our Decidueye, so we can watch this lovely move in action. Ooh. That was my favorite move in third gen when they introduced it. It's the reason, I don't know, I do love Blaziken a lot. I think it was the reason that Sceptile uh, was my like main, uh, my main person I chose back then, which is good because I used to like, maybe it's like every other generation they have a great grass type start, I'm trying to think. Because they had Bulbasaur and then Chikorita was cute, but not that great. What do we got, Leafeon? Cute, but not that great. Uh, then we had uh, Sceptile, Trico, which was, I love Sceptile. And then we had, who was after that? Oh, I actually did like Turtwig quite a bit. Grass starters are fantastic. Grass, star grass starters underrated. Then again, I love water. I love every starter. The starters in most games are just real good. Um, I do have a question for you guys. So speaking of typing, after we take out this Leafeon, I'm curious as to, there are like a bajillion types. And basically I'm doing this because I'm running out of questions to ask. I've been Googling like random questions and kind of just throwing them up there. But uh, I figure we should bring it back a little bit and talk maybe about some Pokemon actual stuff. Uh, and so my question, as I go back and heal my Pookie, who I sent into the fray, I feel like I could take a picture here. <gasps> I can take a picture here. Firing up the Pokey Finder. I can take a picture here. Hello. How are you? Are you going to do a salsa for me? Hello. Oh, salsa. If you could turn around. That would be more beneficial for me. This picture's not great. You're just kind of marching in place. Even just a the slightest of turns. The slightest of turns would look great. I'm gonna wait a little bit. All right, he's not doing it. Okay, we went for this. We'll see if any of these pictures are good. I have a feeling all the commenters are gonna hate on me for the freaking, there you go, he's doing a little ole type of thing. That's the best shot I got, yes. Comments are rolling in, what do they say? What do they say, uh, excuse me? Try harder. Try harder. Only 1,800 thumbs up. That's not very good. I've been taking a lot of pictures in my spare time because I wanted to get that level four upgrade. And it turns out it's just another zoom. Every single one is zoom. And then the next one, the next upgrade, you don't get until it's 1.5 million likes, which I'm just not gonna do, I'll be honest. That's really far. And that's a lot of pictures to take. As much as I love Pokemon Snap, it's not quite the same. It's not quite the same. Maybe I'll bring Pokemon Snap to the channel as well. That would be fun. I love that game so much. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon... I don't, I don't know what you'd call it. Not really like a, It's not a spin-off series because it's still made by Pokemon Company. But like, I consider these pretty traditional Pokemon games. I, even I would even consider like po Pokemon Coliseum or XD Gale of Darkness pretty like typical Pokemon games with the whole like... To me, a Pokemon game is about catching Pokemon, battling, and making it through some sort of storyline. If it does that, it's it, it's that. But like something like Pokemon Snap, a little bit different. It's a little, it does a little bit of a spin take on it, a little bit of a spin to take on it, which I kind of liked. Let's go ahead and fight this trainer. <coughs> now that our lovely um, 
now that our lovely what's her name Pookie is back up and ready to go I really want to send her into battle but I guess she's just not quite ready last Riley's gonna come in and send in Sneasel uh, which is not great for us, I'll be honest. Your leaf is much smaller than I remember. Is that the difference between like male and female Sneasels? It must be. Female Sneasel must have tiny leaf. Because I remember this leaf being much larger than that. Uh, we'll just go for the pluck. We'll just go, oh! A little scary. Little scary there. But that's okay. You're faster than me as well. We go for the plug. Is it a two-hit KO? It is going to be a two-hit KO, thankfully. I don't think you can one-shot me unless... Okay, yeah, we're fine. Unless you had, like, Icicle Crash or something. That would be pretty dastardly, but I don't see it happening. So we're going to pluck you and uh, and take you out and see what you have next. And see if it's someone that Pookie might want to face. Pookie, you feeling it? You feel you feel it? You coming in? A Komala. That's the Koala Pokemon I just caught. But I don't remember what type it is. But I think Pookie can handle it. At, at the very least, Pookie can get off a of Volt Switch. Pookie, although this thing does have base 115 attack, I looked it up on Cerebi. That's actually pretty strong. And another thing that's freaking, this Pokemon's weird. It just, oh, it's got Comatose ability, first of all, so shout out to 2006. Uh, but also, we should be faster than it. No, he's gonna yawn, but that's fine because we Volt Switched. Uh, this thing, that ability, Comatose, is brand new. And not only is it a fantastic song, but, ooh, that did not a. That was a critical hit and it did nada. Um, not only is it a good song, but it also, it also uh, is pretty cool. Basically, even though the Pokemon is awake, it has all of the benefits, if you would say benefits, of being asleep with no drawbacks. So essentially, you cannot inflict status conditions on, on, a, on a Kamala because it's like it's asleep at all times. Luckily, we'll be able to take that thing out. Uh, it's like it's always asleep, so you can't burn it, you can't paralyze it, you can't poison it, anything like that. It can use moves like Sleep Talk, uh, Snore, anything like that that it would normally have to be asleep to use. It can use all of those. The only downside is moves like Hex or Dream Meter or anything that attacks Pokemon does extra damage when they're asleep. It does the same thing. It does extra damage to him. So, But I think he's a normal type if I remember, so it wouldn't actually do that much extra damage to him. We got some weird grass up here which I feel like is special because it's different colored than the rest of the grass, so I just want to give a little try, a little tried and tested true type of thing. Batman shirt on today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get two episodes recorded this morning. We got a Letty in here. I think, I'm trying to remember. No, this isn't the route yet. There's a route coming up where you can find, uh, you can use the call chain method. You know, I made a video about using the call chain method, or as I call it, the Holba method. Help, or no, Habo. I call it the Habo method. Help a brother out. Um, H-A-B-O, but, uh, I, you can use that not only to find shinies, but you can, sometimes Pokemon will call chain in either evolutions of them or other Pokemon entirely. We see the first red or a Corio in, and, uh, yeah, but one of the Pokemon, I, I don't think it's on this route, it's around here, though. It's one of the routes where it's raining. If you chain Letty in for long enough, you can actually get a Gumi, which is pretty cool, because Gudra, as you know, if you watched any of the UPA videos, uh, was a like a mid mid like season pickup for a team, and he ended up putting in some serious work on the team. I love Gudra so much after that, and so I love having him on the team, or I would love to. I never got to play six gen, so this would be the first gen where I actually catch my own Gumi. So I'm excited for whenever we hit that route where it's raining, but uh, I don't know where that is yet. Uh, but yeah, you have to ch uh, chain Ledians. We get an Adrenaline Orb as if it wants me to go chain those Ledians. Um, and then you can also do, on Route 9, I'm just gonna give you guys all sorts of info today. On Route 9, you can chain, uh, there's only one fishing spot on Route 9. Uh, it's where I caught that Love Disc earlier in this Let's Play. Uh, you, there's a 5% chance you can catch a Corsola, which takes 5 ever to, to actually find. But when you find it, if you chain Corsola for long enough, you can actually, um, you can actually get a, uh, not a Toxapex, it's pre-evolution, which is Marini. Uh, which I love the name. It's a combination of marine and meanie, which is it's a meanie of the marine o ocean, whatever. Uh, which is kind of like it's kind of morbid that that thing comes in because it's like the dex entry even talks about Toxapex, how it like leaves Corsola bits scattered in its wake, and so and like marine is the same way. I can't remember what the dex entry said or or there was something. There's something else in this game where it was like, yeah, they just like rip off Corsola's coral and eat it. So it's like kind of brutal, and it's like. 
really savage that it comes in in the call chain method because it's like, ooh, I smelled food, and then you can catch it. But that's the only way you can catch one in the game. We're gonna bone be still here. But nothing that exciting in these grass. There's gotta be some sort of rare encounter that we're just not finding, but who knows. Let's go ahead and run. Oh, no, 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 no. You tried to double cross me? You tried to double, double back and click fight? I also don't know which way we're supposed to be going. This could be the completely wrong way. This lady's probably gonna stop me. The crumbling old shrine, what do you think happened to it in the past? There's a shrine down here? Well, this is quite interesting. Lake of the Moon, which you spelled incorrectly. Hello. Oh, you're that trainer who's always popping into the Pokemon Center, aren't you? This place may have fallen into ruin, but it's still so spectacular, wouldn't you say? Even if there's nothing to see here now, I can't help thinking that there being nothing here now belies the possibility that something could be here. Something wondrous. Okay, so this is probably where we're going to meet up with the legendary. If I had to guess, the bridge is not even broken. The bridge is not broken. Can't help but feel like this could be something important. We have a free item in the corner, which I will go ahead and pick up. Hello. Hello for TM-03 Psy Shock, absolutely, that could be a decent move for Raichu to learn. Anything on this side? Any TMs you want to give me over here? No, just some blinding light. What about down further? I feel like I shouldn't be exploring this place, but uh, we're here now, so why not take a little bit of a look around? Oh, this is a little sketchy. A little sketchy, we got some doors here that I cannot go in. Nope, they are too big for my small hands. Too big for my small hands, that's okay. There's some water dripping, someone needs to call the plumber. Do you feel like something really impressive is about to happen? I feel like we may also just be like dying. This may be what it's like when you like, people say they see the white light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like we may be facing something similar. But the, the music is almost like what I would expect Elite Four music to sound like. But it can't be, this is not the Elite Four. Uh, but it is the symbol for the game. Hello. Hi. Anyone here? No? No dice? Okay then. Uh, nothing to be seen here. Yep, we're just gonna leave then. I don't know what that's for. I'm sure we'll find out in the future. I wonder if in Pokemon Moon, if this is actually the Sun Shrine. If it's the Sun Shrine. Or if there's both a Sun and a Moon Shrine. Um, which is different than Moonshine. It's a Moon Shrine. Completely different. One gives you a legendary Pokemon, and one will send you to the hospital, so... Let's go ahead and get back out here. It was a fun little exploration. Our guy looks so tiny compared to these walls. He looks so small. Oh, probably because of our outfit. I need to change my outfit. I haven't changed it since, like, episode, like, what? Like, six? Seven? Early F? Pretty too, pretty too early. Early too... Yep, exactly. Uh, nothing else to see here. Thank you for, like, talking to us guy over there randomly that's just staring at a building for some reason, but... Uh, there was nothing there. We're back in Ulu Ulu Meadow, and I guess we'll get back on track to what we're actually supposed to do, considering I haven't- Oh, wait. I just remember, we beat all the trainers in Ulu Ulu Meadow, so I feel like I should go back and fight this trainer at the beginning, because they give you good stuff. They give you good stuff when you do it. Hello. Yes, you wanted to, to fight? Oh, congratulations to you. You beat all the trainers in the meadow. Then I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm here waiting for a worthy trainer like you. So what do you say? Will you have a Pokemon battle against me? Yes. My special strategy hinges on my use of an item called the Flame Orb. This golfer's on fire. Okay, so we got some facade burn shenanigans coming up, or maybe some guts ability? Mm, we'll see, though. Uh, which is cool. It's cool that they have these little battles in the game. Hariyama. Does Hariyama get guts? I feel like he probably does. I thought he get thick bat. Maybe he gets both. Um, I'm not just saying that because he is plump, but I thought that was his ability. Or this might not even be uh, the Pokemon he was speaking of. We're going to use Pluck. And we outspeed, and two Plucks should get the job done. We're going to take a knockoff. Excuse me, my Decidium Z. Oh, apparently it can't fall. So you were uh, hurt using the Flame Orb. That is okay, though. Wait, so... I guess since our Z Crystal didn't get knocked off, do Z Crystals operate the same as... Um, do they operate the same as, uh, what, what's those things called? Um, Mega Stones. Mega Evolution Stones. Alakazam coming in. Well, I am fine staying in. The, oh, you must have Flame Orb synchronized, which is genius, but not really, because you're about to take a full force Sinister Arrow Raid. Um, you're gonna use Trick. Oh, but I don't have an item, you silly. Oh, he was trying to put the Flame Orb on me to burn me. Okay, so like... These battles are cool because they're quick and basically it's like if you're new to Pokemon and you've never done competitive like I hadn't done since the UPA, you see all these items and you're like, Flame Orb, 
it just burns you. How, what good could that possibly do? Then you fight this guy and he goes, hey, here's a couple applications where the flame orb could come in handy. You could have a Pokemon that could trick, you could put it on your opponent and burn them and boost. That not only do they lose their item, but then bam, uh, they get burned in the process. And if they're a physical attacker, you lower their attack. And then the first one's like, oh, if you have a Pokemon with guts or facade or anything that's boosted by a burn, you burn yourself and then you do a ton of damage. I guess I'm burned out after all. Like, I love this. I love this. I hope they have something later with, like, Choice Scarf and Choice Ban. Because people, like, people like me that were ignorant at the beginning, mm -hmm, just as I thought you have what it takes to be the next wielder of my precious flame orb. Mm -hmm, I'm glad I waited here for so long. Take it, my flame orb. People that, like, are ignorant like me of competitive battling and don't really know how to use the items and stuff like that. Um, okay, you're hooked on golf? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Uh, people like me who are a bit ignorant don't know how to use those items, and so it's cool that they put that in there so that you can learn. There's so many aspects of Sun and Moon thus far that I am just... I think it's a very well... just very well made, very well designed. All their ideas are fantastic. Hello, Team Skull. I'm actually not that good in fights, but no one will pick fights with me as long as I'm in Team Skull, you know? I feel kind of bad for Team Skull. I almost feel like they want you to feel bad. Like, another a bunch of... Is he just hanging outside the police station? Another a bunch of... Ooh. Yep, nothing to see here. Uh, I know they're kind of a bunch of D-bags, but like, I feel kind of bad at saying, oh, this is the route where you can catch Gumi. This is the route where you can catch Gumi. You have to chain Ledians. So if we can find a Ledian, I'm not gonna do it on screen because we only have Pancham. We only have like nine minutes left. And literally all I have done today is fight three trainers and explore a temple that we couldn't even do anything with. I will pluck this thing though. And I think we're definitely seeing some boosted experience in Sterling because of this Pokebean thing. So I guess the strategy, especially if you want training to go quicker, is just get all of your Pokemon to full happiness and fullness and enjoyment within um, Pin Missile. You are a physical attacker and that sounds kind of good, but we're not going to learn it yet. I like full first impression in Leech Life more. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the route because they said it's always raining and it has to be raining. That's the one caveat when you find the Ledian. It has to be raining on this route uh, when you chain the Ledians. We got another Pancham. Which is cool. It's cool that they've hidden Pokemon. Like, it, it, it makes me kind of wish there was no internet. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the internet. You wouldn't be watching this freaking video right now if there was no internet. And so it kind of makes me uh, wish that the internet... I'm pretty happy it exists, don't get me wrong, but I also like kind of wish it didn't because trying to find these things on my own would have been impossible. I remember like back in like Pokemon Ruby Sapphire, Sapphire specifically was the first one I got and I was trying to complete my decks. We have a strange looking route here. I was trying to complete my Pokedex and uh, Trimeco was so difficult for me to find, I don't know why. Uh, I just guess I didn't look on Mount Pyre Summit, and I think I'd never like fought one in battle, so it couldn't like couldn't see where its area was, and so like it took me forever to find it on Mount Pyre Summit. But that was the fun part was like that was one of the last Pokemon I needed to catch to fill up my Pokedex, and like it was just the literally started at Route One and just went through every single route, every cave, every area, spent like an hour in each area just to just to see what could be caught there. Um, to see if I could catch the thing, which, that was, it's fun, that's, the exploration of Pokemon is what I really enjoy about it most, and if I see one more gum shoes, he really should just stay on two hind legs at all time, he looks strange when he tries to go downward dog style, if we could just, like, get out of this battle, please, it is rainy and gross, and I'm not digging it, I do like the differing grass, though, I mean, I guess this is because it's growing on rocks, isn't growing as well, hey, Team Skull, how's it going? How's it going? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And we're getting close to Poe Town, where we're going to have to kind of put Team Skull in its place, most likely. Oh my gosh, it's literally just Donald Trump's up here. This is Donald Trump Mountain, or Ridge, or Coast. I don't I don't, I don't know my geographical features. That's fine. Uh, let's fight this Team Skull guy. I'm ready to go. I am ready to go to the next town. Hello. Hello, sir. No one has lost any. What a lovely good day. Okay, I like the rap. What a, I like the rap, except did you rhyme today with good day? It's not the sickest lyrics or the slickest lyrics. Oh, that's, that's, that's a rhyme. Not the sickest, not the slickest lyrics I've ever heard, but I'm okay with them. Golbat's here. 
Golbat is a pretty hard counter to Sterling, but I can't really switch into Pookie, unfortunately. But I could switch into Nobody, Little Macrab, and do a Rock Tomb, but I don't really feel like it. So I think we'll just, I think we'll probably just Sinister Arrow Raid because who doesn't like lowered frame rates? Am I right? I'm right. Everybody loves lowered frame rates. And we're actually faster than this thing. I guess we are getting pretty over leveled. I should probably let someone else other than Decidueye take the field for a while. But he's just so good. This is like one of those few, like one of those games, they always like instill that value in you. Like, oh, your starter should follow you for the entire game. But like, this is one of the first times since probably like. Again, going back to Ruby Sapphire with Blaziken that I've just been like, oh my gosh, I can use my starter for literally everything. He's so strong. Uh, Decidueye is pretty dope. I'm loving it. McDonald's style. Decidueye is the quarter pounder with cheese of McDonald's menu items. Poplio's more of a... Poplio's more of a, like... We'll go with, uh... uh Lidden. Lidden's more of like a... Lynn's like a large fry. It's a scent, it's a nice side, but it's not your main dish. Popplio's like a freaking apple pie because nobody nobody gets that. Oh, they are really good for McDonald's. So maybe Popplio is the hidden treasure of oh god, there's split paths. Split paths. Don't know which way to go. Don't know which way to go. Apparently we've gone the wrong way, it looks like, because I have hit another team skull person. What did you say about Team Skull Paradise? Ate the Paradise Connection? Confirmed. Uh, at least the bright side of fighting an entire town full of Team Skull individuals <sighs> is that we do get to uh, listen to the dope Team Skull soundtrack over and over and over and over again. You're going to send Marini that Pokemon that I want really badly. It's terrifying. This Pokemon is a killing machine, and its evolved form is ridiculously strong defensively. Toxapex got like. I mean, I guess we just Sinister Arrow Raid. I hate just doing this over and over and again. I replay over and over again. Actually, this probably won't even take it out because its defense is so good. Toxapex defense, base 152, and special defense, <gasps> base 142. Its attack isn't even that awful either. It's like, I think it's like base 65 or so, 65, 55, something like that. Not terrible. Plus its abilities, I'm receiving a call. I'm receiving a call and I would like to answer it. I would very much like to answer it. Unfortunately, uh, if I answer it, I'm gonna forget to edit it out of this video. So I will make the call back in just a few seconds. A Fomantis is gonna come in. That is a good time for us to switch into Mercury. Let's see if they send me a text so I can understand why this call is happening or it's like something not happening. Oh, someone wants to get Loonch. Someone wants to get Loonch. I apologize. I am recording right now, but Lunch does sound pretty tasty. Lunch does sound pretty tasty before class. So I guess right after this episode, I'm only gonna be able to record one because I'm gonna get some lunch. I guess it is important to eat, but at college you don't really have time to do that because everything. But anyway, I guess I should get some food in my belly. I might, I might really go to paradise now that I've lost. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like what's that place called? No, uh, Nirvana. Oh no, there's a cube. I must get the cube. I need the cube. Oh, there's an item over there. Well, I gotta go back through this multiple times then. So these last couple minutes are gonna be really fun. You guys are just gonna watch me. Yeah. You guys are just gonna watch me fight this team Skull Grunt apparently. And I guess in my off time, after this episode, I will go pick up that Zygarde cube and that HMTM thing two letters put together with the last one being M. Salandic coming in first. Uh, we are not really that well equipped to handle you. Not really that well equipped to handle you, so I'd like to switch. I would like to switch into my lovely Zygarde. Into my lovely spot, the Zygarde 10%. 10% and we're gonna let him do his thing. We're gonna let him do his thing with his scarf that sticks straight out. Aura break. I don't know what that does, but we're gonna take a flame burst. You're doing nothing to me. Not very effective. Seven damage. It's a good thing about Pokemon. It helps you keep up your freaking. So many great things about Pokemon. But it just lets you. You're so fast. It lets you uh, freaking keep your mental math capabilities up 
because you gotta prove yourself whenever you lose some HP. You gotta be like, oh, we lost X amount of HP. Oh, oh we lost Y amount of HP. <laughs> Pokemon reference. Little Mad Crab wants to learn Iron Defense. We're gonna keep old moves. I really hope Little Mad Crab's evolution isn't like one of those like, oh, it has to know Iron Defense to evolve and we just like missed it because I didn't teach it the move that it needed. If it ends up being one of those, I'm gonna be pretty salty. <laughs> pretty salt and peppery if we could just skip this okay never mind we're gonna do it on camera it's i know it's over time oh please don't no no battles no battles no battles we're here for one reason and one reason only get this zygarde cube zygarde cube right here thank you and we can't we need to just do a little quick little uh oh we're gonna we're gonna get in a battle no we're not no we're not as we're getting out of this battle as we're heading to go get that hmtm I will say to you guys, oh my god, another gum shoes. I will say to you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and if you guys are enjoying the series, please don't forget to show some support down below. It means a ton in the form of, actually I said it at the beginning, I don't need to say it again. But if you do know anybody, I will say, if you know anybody that you think would be a great play procrastinator, go ahead and send them on by. We're always looking for new citizens in our lovely nation. Oh my gosh, we're gonna apply to join the United Nations sometime soon. Okay, so hopefully no battle, hopefully no battle. We get the Poison Jab TM, definitely worth our time. And next time we get some two guards back there, standing guard at the front of that door, which is where we're gonna go next. Oops, I have unmounted my Taurus, but that's where we're gonna go next. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Sun shenanigans.